Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share how to turn this bouncer into an activity seat. If you're watching this video, it's most likely because you either misplaced or thrown away the directions on how to do this, which is exactly why I'm making this video because I did that too and I could hardly find anything on the internet to tell me how to change this into an activity seat. So I thought this would be helpful. Um, if you guys don't have this bouncer seat, it's amazing. It's such a good one. My little girl um, is three months old, almost four months old, and she loves it. She's always in this when I'm in the kitchen or like off doing something. She just hangs out here and loves these little toys on it too. So highly recommend it. I'll link it in the description of this video. But here's how we change it into an activity seat. Step one, take off all of the extras. And then you're gonna wanna take off the top part. There's a little hook on the bottom, so just unclick that, take off this part. I actually, we uh, put this on wrong. So this is already connected, so I'm gonna take this part off too. Um, maybe I'm not the only one, maybe you guys did this also. But we do need to take this off to turn it into an activity seat. So my job is a little bit more complicated today. If you guys did it the right way, you won't have to do this, disregard this step. Right, I'm gonna put, leave this part on, but I wanna show you how to change this into a seat. Okay, so depending on which version you have, there will either be a button down on the bottom on this right here, or there'll be a little lever, which is what mine is like. So there's a little wire level, lever inside this thing that you're gonna pull down on and that loosens the bar. So I'm just gonna take two hands for me because I'm not that strong. Ugh. Okay. There we go. So then you're gonna just turn this around like this. And then this is gonna be the back of the activity seat and this is gonna be where the baby's feet are gonna be. So just put it around, it'll click, and then you have your seat right there. So that's where that lever was. <laughs> that tripped me up, so I was like, okay, why isn't this moving? But that's what it was. So now I just need to put everything back to where it was. Again, I did this wrong, so once you have this flap done, then <laughs> you're gonna put your seat back on. It's a different, the seat and the bouncer have two different covers. Um, again, I we put this one on with the bouncer seat just because you're confused. <laughs> um, so that's why it's kind of connected here, but it's pretty straightforward on how to connect it. Otherwise, there's just like little buttons in the back, which I'll just put this together to show you. So this is where the feet will be. The things we do for babies, <laughs> for for kids in general. Okay, so that is there. So her little, or his little feet will just come right through here. And then now I need to connect the back part. So this, these sides, there's a little hook, place to hook it right here. To make sure it's secure. And then these little buttons come through with the back. Okay, for the back, there are little like buttonholes that you have to put them in. I highly suggest doing this one and then the other one on the other end first and then filling in the rest and I also use <laughs> a screwdriver to stick like to get it in otherwise I would have broken all my nails it's very hard to do but that's how I did it and then here you go you get your activity seat and now you can put your toys from this thing on the front so now they can connect in here this is my little girl's favorite <laughs> thing ever so I'm gonna put that in the middle for her. She's obsessed with this fox and I honestly have no idea why, but she loves him. So now her friend's gonna be over here. All right, and now you've officially changed from the bouncer to the activity seat. Voila. <laughs> so I hope that you guys liked this video. Hopefully it was, hopefully it was helpful, especially if you threw away that uh, direction sheet. <laughs> like I did. So we got our activity seat. We're going to see if she likes it. I hope that she does. I think that she will. She loves sitting up lately. So this will be a good little transition for her. And again, I'll link this down in the description. I think this is such a good buy for all you mamas. 
So if you guys like this video, I hope that you will actually like it and also subscribe. I would love to hang out with y'all again soon. See ya.